Back to the Ivana Plastic Surgery IG Live. I'm Kimmy, and I'm here with Dr. Mamaniscus. Did I say that right, Doc? Yes, you did. Yes, you okay. Did. Hey, everyone. I like to kind of reintroduce myself because I just started. You, not so much. Me, yes. Um, so I'm the newest member of the Ivana Plastic Surgery family and the social media team here, and I've had the honor of sitting down with a few of your colleagues uh, over the past week or so. I got to talk with Dr. McDaniel. I got to talk with Dr. Luster, who, of course, is the sole female um, surgeon on the team here and now I'm with the OG and by that I mean the guy who has been doing it and doing it the best um, for I don't want to say quite some time and it's such a positive thing though because I feel like when you're looking for a plastic mm -hmm. surgeon you know the proof is in the resume it's in the length of time there's a level of comfort that comes when you know your doctor is experienced it's like you know when you walk on an airplane and you see the silver fox mm -hmm. sitting in the cockpit, you know, with his oh, four yeah, stripes. You're like, oh, I got myself a Sully. Yeah. And then you walk on and you see like the guy who looks like, you know, he should be working in a McDonald's drive-thru, <laughs> like as a first job. And you're like, and he's like, welcome, I'm your captain today. And you're like, yeah, I don't know about that one. So we have our own resident silver fox. He's the George Clooney of the physicians here. Again, Dr. Mimeniscus. Is that how we say, and I said that, but yes. Yeah. Well, that was, no, that was questionable, No, Doc. it's fine, it's fine, it's good. It's How good. about this? Let's look directly into the camera, okay. that way everybody knows, and you say it for the good folks out here. It's mammeniscus. If anyone knows the thing in the knee that all the football players get, meniscus, put a man before. You got it, you got it. There we go. Yeah. Look at this, and it's going to be educational on so many fronts. Um, so, Doc, obviously, you know, you've been here in South Florida for a while, but you've been doing what you do all over the nation, Chicago, mm -hmm. Philadelphia. Right. Uh, I know you have some celebrity clients that you've worked on in the past, which is always a nice little, you know, addition to the resume. Um, but is there a procedure that you absolutely love doing over your years of practice that you've really kind of honed in on and it's one of the things that you pride yourself on? Well, I do quite a few BBLs. I'm really okay. happy and proud of those, and I do a lot of those procedures, and a lot of patients are very happy, but the mummy makeover. That's okay. really something I get a lot of pride and satisfaction from, from seeing the patients have their body transformed, and usually yeah. after a pregnancy, after a weight loss, and they're just not very happy about things, not feeling good about themselves. It really just changes things dramatically. I love it. You know, I think that sometimes plastic surgeons, we watch television, and we have this idea in our heads of what... A plastic surgeon is right and you are a board certified plastic surgeon yes um, which is I didn't know that there's a distinction there is you know board certified cosmetic surgeon right and then board certified plastic surgeon right, right. Um, and obviously both are great you always want to find a board certified surgeon before you let anybody touch your body uh, but being a board certified plastic surgeon I feel like that's one of the things that we see a lot of and we get this kind of arrogant vibe right like it, it's I don't know. Is it when I think about botched or I think about, you know, sometimes, what was the other one? Nip tuck. Oh, right? You have these yeah. doctors who have these God complexes. And I got to say, working with the doctors here, it could not be more polar opposite. Like the level of care and the level of attention and the time that you guys give to your patients um, and how much pride you take in their happiness after the fact is really like it's heartwarming. Like I love it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, everything's geared toward the patient. The patient's experience, the patient's result, everything is patient-oriented here and in my practice, and that's uh, what makes it uh, great. I, I love that. Now, um, I know you said you do face work, which not, I mean, I, it's funny because I feel like if you're on social media, a lot of what we see now is breast augmentations and BBLs, right? But let's be honest, like, the, the facelift is probably, I feel like it's the, the coup d'etat, right? It's like, the, it's, it's the thing. If you can master that... Uh, you've probably earned your stripes in this field uh, and you've done some incredible work right yes, yes is that a fair assessment but, yeah, yeah I mean certain circles it's, it's the epitome but mm -hmm. other people you know, <laughs> like to focus on body contour yeah. and things like that but uh, yeah no, I, I enjoy doing facial surgery I enjoy the variety and, and being a plastic surgeon I was trained in all those diverse uh, parts of the specialty and that's why you know but I, I still do it I love it I love it and again we were talking about rhinoplasties mm -hmm. too like nose jobs aka nose jobs and how important it is to find the right doctor. What are your recommendations for anybody that's considering having any sort of, you know, cosmetic surgery done um, as far as looking for the right surgeon to do the procedure? Well, think in their own minds first what they mm -hmm. really want, what they want to accomplish, what they don't like, and sort of in their own mind how realistic it is. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, well, there, there are a lot of means out there to, to research surgeons, a lot of uh, 
websites and social medias and a lot of ratings out there. Mm -hmm. and of course, you have to sort of take that with a grain of salt. But you've been to, you've been to restaurants that are great and you see a terrible review. How they, uh, oh, review, let me but, tell you all the time. But, but I mean, there's a lot of stuff out there in social media that people can use to um, to find out who they want to see and then and then uh, see the surgeon, have a yeah. consultation in person, virtually, and. If you don't hear, it doesn't sound just right, then, then try, try someone else. Got you. No, I love that. And I also think the proof is in the pudding. And that's why I always tell everybody, scroll through the timeline. That's the beauty of social media. Um, you know, doctors that are proud of their work tend to share it now in this space. So you can always go to the timeline and you can scroll through. And that's one of the reasons why I actually uh, was so excited to join the team here at Ivana. Um, as a person who's lived in South Florida for a long time, I've seen a lot of cosmetic surgery um, procedures that have been done, some incredible, some not so much. And I gotta say, going through the timeline on the Ivana Plastic Surgery page is just mind blowing. The work that you guys are doing here, I love a natural look to some degree, you know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to the BBLs. Um, I've seen some incredible breast lifts. Uh, the mommy makeovers have been spectacular. And then what I really love is when we do these lives, so many people that have already come through the doors, Doc, comment, like they jump on and they're just praising how much they love their new bodies, they talk about the doctors that they've come to see. So they're really like, that to me is the other way that you pick a doctor, is is by word of mouth, right? Exactly, exactly, first. Word of mouth is, is the best. I love it. Patient referrals or patients coming back for another procedure that, that, that they wanna have done, so it's, it's, it's satisfying. Now, somebody mentioned to me a thing called a Vixen BBL, right? Uh, and they said that if you want one of those looks, that is really, that, that you're the doctor to go to for this. So what is a Vixen BBL in case it's anybody's? Really, it's really more of a, a very curvaceous look. A very, okay. very, a very, very thin waistline that then curves mm -hmm. down in the, the hip and lat area and round and good projection of the butt. So that's kind like of- Like pin up like kind of look or like um, even more? Sort of, I guess. Okay. I mean, pin is kind of an old, old term. It I mean, is. The Vixen is kind of, kind of a, a newer look and I mean, Kind of when you see it, you know it. You, when you see it, I like that. Okay, when you see it, you know it. And obviously, again, you can scroll through. Um, is there a perfect candidate? Is there, is there, I don't want to say anybody's perfect or not perfect, but what's the ideal candidate for like a Vixen BBL? Um, starting with, with, with a good good uh, start. The, mm -hmm. the, the skin is good. The skin has good elasticity. They okay. have the, the right amount of fat. Not too little, not too much. Mm -hmm. Good sort of bone structure to begin with, yep. so you can really work with that and get the, the waistline nice and thin. Got so, you. Those are a few of the things. I love it. Okay, well, again... The great part about Ivana Plastic Surgery is the fact that if you have any questions or you're wondering if you are a great candidate for what we call the Vixen BBL or a skinny BBL, because those exist as well, yeah, right? Yes, of course. Um, and then obviously you just have the iconic classic BBL. You can always send a DM. You can drop your comments below these lives. Uh, the team here is fantastic at getting back to people. And again, if you see somebody that is commenting on the work that they've had done, Tag them or share with them or comment, ask them a question because I will say this, I feel like the people who come to Ivana uh, definitely have no problem talking about the work that they've had done and you know, it's each one teach one, sharing is caring. Those are the kind of things that I feel in, in ladies, it's on us in particular to help each other through these kind of decision making processes and I know that there's a lot of fellas that come in too. Like, have you seen an increase, like, especially with things like, what is it, um, the, oh, it's for the abs, help me out. I bet you. I bet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm beginning to feel like we're going to have more and more of the fellas coming so, through the doors. More of the fellas, but, but some of the some of the girls too yep. asking for oh, it. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's sort of, who's, sort of both genders. Who's more likely to be honest about having work done? Um, a man. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. I'm going to start asking all the guys. Did you have your calves done with Dr. Mamiscus? Like, <laughs> do you do those things? I mean, maybe not every every example. Yeah. But I think men are more. Yeah, okay. What yeah, did I, I have I, done? I had this done. I had, I had my male kind of capacity taken care of. I had my love handle suction, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. Calves? Do they do that? I saw that on it. Calves. Uh, do you like do they, like, in, do they do implants? We do implants sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm like, okay. Well, apparently the fellows are being honest about the work they're having done. Um, doc, now I want to ask you, as the doctor, when a patient comes into you for a consult, what helps you do your best work? Like, should they bring in a photo of somebody that, you know, a look that they want to attain or, you know, are there questions that they should have ready or be ready to answer that would make the whole process easier for you to really deliver the results that they're looking for? 
just sort of, most importantly, just convey to me really what you want, what kind of look you want. Just okay. Give me pictures and just saying, hey, this is what I want, and this is what I don't want. And then we can discuss it. I examine the patient. I see, hey, well, it's realistic. It's kind of realistic, or this is what you can attain. So that's really, and then a patient realizing that and being realistic and saying, yes, okay, that's good. Let's, let's How go. hard is it to manage expectations? Um, you know, it can be difficult. You can mm -hmm. sometimes tell when some patients are... You have too high an expectation. I try to be realistic with mm -hmm. them and say, "Hey, if you if you absolutely must have that, maybe you don't do the procedure." Mm -hmm. But um, it's something that comes along with doing this kind of work. I was just trying to look at the comments and the questions. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them right here on this live as we're talking. I'm trying to see if anybody is is commenting. I got in there a little bit late, and I did see some earlier on, but I can't scroll back right now because it's on my live. Mm -hmm. um, I did want to know though. As far as like post-op, because that's one of the things that I know a lot of people ask about. Like if you're coming in for a Vixen BBL, what sort of recovery time should you expect? What is going to help you have the best long-term results as far as that recovery process mm -hmm. and the things that end up falling on the patient once they leave these doors? Well, we give a lot of instructions. Really okay. try to follow the instructions. They're, they're there for a reason, to, to give patients the, the best result. Please try to stay here as long as you can for, for a BBL. If, if you're coming Se in from yeah, out of town. Se seven to ten days is mm -hmm. great. That we can tell things are really going in the right direction and we're really comfortable about things. Um, have proper help. Yep. Have the proper support people with you. Um, I recommend seeking out a health professional, a nurse, to help you the first few okay. days. And that really, who's used to this kind of procedure, mm -hmm. taking care of patients who've had a cosmetic surgery procedure, that is very, very helpful. That takes away some of the... the uh, uncertain things mm -hmm. that happen after the surgery. So. And I'm sure that the team here can recommend some of these people if you don't necessarily already have them. We do, we, we, we point them in, in the right direction. Yeah. Obviously it's there, they need to select the person that yeah. they feel comfortable with, but we do point, point them in the right direction. Well, because we have post-op here, which I absolutely love. Like they have a massage facility oh, yeah, the right, is great here. Yeah. On, like, right on premise. Uh, so when you come in, because usually you come in the very next day, right? After you have a procedure, Everyone's you come seen, for a follow-up. Yeah, by the physician the next day, then by whenever, whenever needed afterward. Yep. They come for massages, and I see them see them sometimes in between, and uh, it's... Yeah, I, I do love that it's kind it's of like thorough. a one-stop it's a one, it's a one stop kind of, you know, shop, for lack of a better phrase, and it's fantastic. I've never, I've honestly never seen anything like it. I mean, right down to your, your post-op garments. You guys have those right here on site, yes. and I know that that's another important part of the procedure. Now, somebody did ask... Uh, Nostratio 0124, I'm sorry, sometimes the Instagram names are a little crazy town. Uh, how can I avoid looking square and overstuffed? Can um, we see Dr. Memphis? <laughs> <laughs> square? I mean, it, some patients' bodies are, are difficult. Mm -hmm. It's hard to, to get rid of some of that look, and as far as being realistic with the patient mm -hmm. is, is important. But, um, um, yeah, go to, go to the right surgeon who can tell you he can, he can do it and give you the look you want. Again, I think that that's, that's such a great point. Like the beauty of, of Ivana, you can do in-person consultations. They also do virtual consultations. Yes. We are the number one uh, destination, and by we, I'm saying Miami, in the nation for you know plastic surgery procedures. Um, and Ivana is top of that list when it comes to plastic surgery centers where people come to have their procedures done. I know somebody actually mentioned that they're scheduled in March um, with you. Super terrified about the surgery. What can I do to ease my mind of fears? Um, even though, literally, I trust Dr. Meniscus 100%. Um, is there anything you know that you can? I think it's sort of go, go on our Instagram and find some patients and maybe message them and talk to some former patients and they'll give you an idea of what uh, what, what to expect mm -hmm. and what the process is and then you'll be feeling better. Oh, you're a busy guy. I'm scheduled March 21st. Okay. Um, somebody said I added arm lipo to avoid looking too heavy because they have big boobs okay but again I think that that's one of the things that you can discuss with yeah. your doctor when they come in and they get a really great look at you surgeons that have been doing this you know and are as qualified as as the surgeons here at Ivana especially Dr. Meniscus you're gonna get the best I would say medical advice you can possibly get yes, yes, yes. Um, and I know that you guys all and you pointed it out pride yourself in, in being honest and upfront so that the patient really does have the best overall experience. Um, I know, again, how do I look, how do I book a virtual consultation with my surgeon? Um, she's with Dr. Meradian. I would assume if you go to the website, uh, and if not, just shoot us a DM and somebody from the team will get back to you literally uh, within minutes. They're, they're incredible. The team here is fantastic, and they'll walk you through the process. Um, can't wait to get mine done on January 3rd. Oh, 
you guys are really busy. Right. <laughs> They're very busy, these doctors. But again, if you have any questions, I highly recommend, uh, again, following the folks here in the comment section that have already had procedures done. Um, if you have questions, they're a great place to start as far as you know what you can expect. Uh, again, the doctors here are all fabulous. They do a lot of Q and A's. Uh, you can see a lot of before and afters, not only on the timeline, but also on the website. Um, and then of course, if you leave your comments or you DM us, the team here will get back to you uh, as quickly as possible. Somebody else did ask if there's recovery houses here. There's not a recovery house on site. No, no, there's not, there's not. And I recommend that patients really check into those very, very carefully. Yes. Um, that's, I, I, we, I don't personally recommend them, but if patients want to check into them and find a place that they're comfortable with, that's fine. We don't, we don't endorse any. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. okay, perfect. I'm glad that you said that. Um, what would you say the best bet is? Again, bring somebody with you. If you're coming from out of town, bring a, a relative, bring somebody that you trust that can really help provide you with right. care or hire a nurse in the interim if yeah, you can. Yeah, or may, maybe both, have a family member, yep. but have a nurse come in just the first day or first two days to really give you good care and make sure everything's going in the right direction. Well, I love that. Doc, I mean, is there anything that, obviously, we get to catch up with these doctors whenever they're not, you know, changing lives in surgery. Um, so if anybody has any questions, I know I can follow up with you somewhere down the line, but is there anything you'd like to leave these great folks with as we head into the holidays and a lot of folks getting ready for, you know, new year, new you, they want to kick things off the right way, uh, January, 2024. Can you think of anything? Well, just have a great, happy, blessed holiday season and uh, the new year, um, you know, contact us. There you go. One last question, I'm sorry, I lied. Uh, can you fix uneven hips in a round two BBL and do you transfer fat to the front hip and outer thighs? Yes. Boom. Did you hear? This man knows what he's talking about. All right, I'm going to let him get out of here, start his weekend. Again, oh. thank you guys for tuning in. Do you have another surgery to do? I do. Oh my <laughs> his next patient is right here. Well, at least you know he's ready for you. Um, and this is going to be incredible. So please, again, drop your comments, DM us. Thank you so much, Dr. Ramos. You yes, You're amazing. Right. And are you on social media yourself? Yes. Okay, do you have an account? Can My own Instagram? Yes. Yeah. It's at Dr. Mamaniscus. Okay, perfect. We'll make sure we write that in so that you know exactly very, how to spell it. Very active. and uh, I love it. Lots of before and afters. And that's a great place to start. So thank you guys for tuning in.